Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing like a last minute Halloween makeup look. I am going to focus on the eye makeup and I'm thinking about pairing it with a lip. I'm not 100% sure. I just have a clear vision of what I would like the eye makeup to look like. If you would like to see this base look just <laughs> click through any of my other tutorials and basically I do a full face. So I just thought I'd whip through it today. Keep it nice and quick and straight to the point. I'm thinking it will be a little bit similar than like to my last year's like last minute Halloween makeup look like with the with the with the bat wings but I think I might do a bit of eyeshadow with it just because I'm jazz it up a little bit like this is like the updated version of it or something like that but yeah so I'm gonna quickly go ahead do my other eye off camera and then be right back see you in a second <laughs> so I've already gone ahead and primed my lid with some of my MAC soft ochre paint pot so next on a fluffy 221 soft crease from Zoeva I'm going to take this gorgeous like soft orange and the soft kind of yellowy orange next to it and buff that through my crease and keeping it pretty soft and high up on the brow bone because it is quite a lifted look like the cut crease goes kind of up if that makes sense so I'm bringing it from outer to inner corner making sure to get that whole area here quite pigmented for the next oranges that we're going to apply. So next on a 227 soft definer brush I'm going to take the shade Flame Point from Sugar Pill and apply that just below those previous shades. And it doesn't matter if you're quite messy because we are going to carve out the crease anyways. But you can see here I'm actually not bringing it all the way to my outer corner. Keeping it just above. And again bringing it to your inner corner and softening the edges with those previous shades. Those transition colours. Next I'm taking the shade Hunts from the Jaclyn Hill palette and placing that through my crease with a base shadow brush from Real Techniques. Just slowly blowing it out a little bit on the outer corner and just softening it with those previous shades. On a pencil brush I'm taking the shades Jax and Chip and placing that through the bottom part of my crease. And see how that's quite harsh. I'm going to just take some of Jack's on that pencil brush and just blend out that deep brown shade into those oranges. And then going back in with Hunts and just really all of those previous shades to kind of bring them back a little bit. Next I'm going to carve out my crease and I'm going to take my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to do this step and I'm initially just carving out my crease like I would any other day and then I'm just starting to bring it as I get toward the back like the back end of the eye I actually start to flick it up towards the tail of my brow and then I just fill it in just like that Next I'm going to take this nude shade from the Chi Chi palette, it's basically the same colour as my skin tone, maybe just a little bit peachier, and I'm placing that all over the lid. Now I've got a little cut crease going, I'm going to go in with the liner, which is the, the tricky part. So I'm going to do like a little bat wing. Now I'm going to map it out first like I did in my other tutorial with a white eye coal, I think that's just the best way to go about it, you get the right angle, get an idea of the right shape and everything. Um, so it's going to kind of flick up toward the tail of my brow, so it's going to follow that cut crease that we've created. I'm doing three little spikes and then it kind of flicks up. So yeah, just kind of what I'm drawing is like the juice. I'm not great at explaining it, sorry. And it kind of goes just under that cut crease, so we're leaving a little gap in between. And it just kind of flicks back down and then follows the eye to the inner corner. I would have liked this one to kind of flick up on an upward angle, but I think I did my cut crease a little small. So hopefully this one won't be as too much like straight and it'll be a bit more of a flick. We'll see how we go. And I'm just going to kind of draw it on with the eyeliner. I'm going in with my Unshakeable um, Liquid Eyeliner from Mia Adora. I'm just going back through some of that eye concealer, that paint pot, and just kind of redefining that line in between again. So this is how we're looking so far. I think we turned out pretty well. I'm going to have to do a new liner 
because this one's just dying, I feel. The lashes I'm going to go in with today are my Anitude Feisty um, style lashes. So they're short on the inner corner, longer on the outer corner. And while the glue is drying, I'm going to draw these little, like, white little dots along, like, above my brow. Just where those dots kind of finish. Just kind of, like, like that. So this is what the lashes applied. I've just quickly run a black eye coal on my top and bottom waterline and kind of smudged it underneath the bottom lash line a little bit. So we're going to take this black eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette called Abyss on just a pencil brush. This one's from Gloss. I'm just going to smudge out that coal liner. Just like that, making sure you guys always connect to your outer corner. And then I'm just going to take the shade Roxanne and mix it a little bit with Hooter and just smudge that black out with those browns. Then I'm just going to grab an inner corner highlight. I'm using the two shades Beam and and Light from the Jaclyn Hill palette and literally just keeping it focused here just in this area. And then I'm just tapping it on my brow bone a little bit just a smidgen. Probably best to do this before you do your paint, like your eyeliner, your white eyeliner step, but I forgot. <laughs> and then for the finishing touches, I'm just going to add some of those white dots underneath my bottom lash line to kind of just give it, keep it as symmetrical as possible, I guess. Get that flow going, just like that. I mean, mine has like no rhyme or reason to it, so you can be as messy or as intricate as you would like. Then I'm just finishing off with some bottom lash mascara. And this is the finished eyes. I'm digging them. They're so fun for Halloween, guys. And it's like I said, it's a little bit of an add-on from the wings that I did last year. So for lips, I'm literally thinking I'm going to keep it like uber, like simple and just do a black lip, especially paneling. Because like when, what time of year can you go black? So I'm going to go in with my lip liner called Bull Chick from... Colourpop and just online my lips. And then I'm just taking my Jeffree Star liquid lip in the shade Weirdo. So basically it's just a black liquid lipstick. Ooh, defo feeling the vibes. Okay guys, this concludes today's makeup look, this last minute Halloween look. Like I said, it is a take two on my last year's one and it's so like Halloween-y and it's like, I feel like it's a glam Halloween look. Like there's so many gory ones out there and gory glam, I was like, I'll just do a glam look. I do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I have done many, many, many other Halloween makeup looks. If you would like to check them out, I'll leave the playlist linked down below. And some of my favourite videos just like singly linked if you'd like to check them out. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing Halloween. Make sure to tag me in any recreations. I would love to see what you guys come up with for your Halloween look. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Hope you have an amazing time, day, week, year. I'll see you very soon. Bye.